Oh, what? Oh, hello. Hey guys, it's the Nerdly here, and today we're going to be playing Scott Pilgrim vs. The World The Game. Yeah, that's a long- that's a long-ass title, I know. Yeah, I got this game a, a few days ago, I think last week, just as of recording this, and um... Yeah, so far I'm a fan, but there's a few like problems I have with it, alright. Summertime Blues, follow the ninja chick. Yeah. I don't know, but as of recently, I've been getting really big into Scott Pilgrim. I mean, I just finished the anime, and I watched the movie, like, um, last year. Yeah. One thing, okay, one thing I don't like about this game already, uh, uh, when I first played it was how slow it was. Granted, uh, I know, like, uh, beat em ups in general are just, like, really, really slow. But... Come on, man. I, I recently played Ninja Turtles, and I know um, the Ninja Turtles beat em up. Um, Shred's Revenge. Yeah, I played it a lot. <laughs> Oh, like off camera, and um, yeah, that game was perfectly balanced because it wasn't slow, but also wasn't too fast. This game is a little too slow for for my liking, but yeah, overall it's, it's it's still good. It's still a good game. That's just my only complaint with it with how slow it is. Yeah, oh fucking hell! One another thing is that it's really difficult. <laughs> Maybe it's just me who's not good at beat em ups because I know this is trying to replicate like old school arcade um two D side scrolling beat em ups. But it's really slow, and uh, it's it's really difficult. Maybe I'm just bad at them, and I'm just solely used to like modern beat 'em ups. Oh shit! Then again, the only old fuck you, the only old school beat 'em up I played was um, River City Ransom Girls and um, Brawl Brothers. There are more. I know I'm probably forgetting the names of, but those are the ones I think that are on the top of my head right now. Yeah. Yeah, I gave us. I watched the Scott Pilgrim movie back when it was still on Netflix. It was like on the last day, where it was on Netflix too. And I was like, huh. I heard everybody watch this movie or some shit like that, but I haven't. So I'm like, oh, I got it. Might as well be on the hype on the train, hype train, you know. Yeah, and I also didn't get like the hype around it, cause to be told, the Scott Pilgrim franchise as a whole is really. How do I say it? It's really hard to get into, or um, really hard to get the idea of what it's all about. Like, is it a drama comedy? Is it like a, a graphic novel? Like, what is it? I know it's a graphic novel. I haven't read. I haven't read the books myself yet. Um, yeah, but it's a really like hard franchise to get the idea of if you ha if you haven't watched the movie or well, haven't really like read the graphic novels. Fuck you. I love that feature so much. And the, sp the sprite animation here is also pretty good. Like, look look how everything's so well animated. Fuck. Okay, where do I go now? Wait, what? Do I go back? Oh, wait. We're at the boss already? Oh, shit. Roxy Richie. I mean, I think it's called Roxy. I know her name is Roxy, but I think I forgot what her last name is. Yeah, so I'm, I'm I already beat a Matthew Patel. Um, what's the other one? Uh, Lucas Lee and Todd and Graham. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to remember like their actual like the character names, not the actor names. Cause I I almost said um Chris Evans when I said Lucas Lee. That's so weird that it, Chris Evans of all people wasn't was even in the Scott Pilgrim cast. Then again, I know this is before like Captain America. No. Yeah. But damn, 2010. It, no, it's weird that 2010 is more than a decade ago. And let alone, like, or, there's already, like, 2010 nostalgia. Like, that's just... That's weird to think about. I know I said that before a lot, but still. But it's even more weird that 20, 2014 is also, like, a, now a decade ago. Like, Lego Movie, that shit is, like, 10 years old, and that's scary. Okay, fuck you, bitch. Yeah, but I watched the Scott Pilgrim movie because I was like curious on, on what the franchise was all about. And this to say, I'm, I'm I'm glad I did because I haven't read um I haven't read the graphic graphic novels like most people. Um, I don't know. I guess maybe because uh, I'm like caught up on a lot of manga as of recently that I haven't like completed. 
Like, I started, like, the Splatoon manga, like, a while ago, like, back in, like, 8th grade type shit. Or 7th grade, I don't remember. Somewhere around middle school, and I still haven't, like, read um, anything beyond, like, the 5th, like, issue. Like, book 5. Yeah, and... Uh, as, of, uh, as of right now, I'm reading, like, the Kirby manga and the uh, uh, Silent Voice manga. Yeah, I, I read- I, I saw the Silent Voice movie, it's so good. I watched it- uh, I watched the movie first, and then I read the novel. Yeah, I might not- I might not get to uh, get around finishing the... the Splatoon manga series. So probably because, like, I lost interest in it. And, like I said multiple times, Splatoon 3 just kind of, like, killed off, like, the hype for me, to be honest. I'm not old that old that great, crazy in Splatoon anymore. Might not might not get around what I'm um, reading the Scott Pilgrim like graphic novels anytime soon. Who knows? Maybe I might. Cause things can change. Right now I could be saying, oh yeah, I don't I'm not I might not read them, but might get back to reading them eventually. Finally, actual ninjas. I mean Roxy Richie is a ninja, but like I figured uh, oh that's what I'd be fighting now. Wait, I don't can I fall off the stage? I don't I don't know. Fuck. Okay, I know I can heal in this game by going through stores, but like... How the fuck am I supposed to heal here? Can I jump to something else? Oh, what? Oh, I'm supposed to fall off. Weird. Flying Tengu. We're in Japan, holy- What the hell? I didn't even get a chance to react- Oh, no, okay. Yeah, this game is- This game is hard, and I'm on average Joe, so... Either this game is like naturally hard, or I'm just like bad at- I'm bad at this game. Fuck. Oh, I can block? Well, I never use the block button when I'm playing beat em ups. I never use the block the block button while I'm playing Ninja Turtles. Fuck. Okay. Yeah, so I brought up that I watched the anime. I finished the anime. It's such a good movie. It's such a good anime. Holy sh holy shit. I'm not going to spoil anything cuz that's still like, like it's kind of re still relatively new. But all I, I I really like the anime. Oh, I could I could pick up the swords. Wait, I don't want this shit. I mean, what the hell? I should have kept I should have kept the brick. I'm gonna beat your ass first. I'm I'm not leaving without a sword. Come on. Okay, there we go. I got the sword. Yeah. Oh hell no. Fuck, can I use the- no! Oh my- can I use the- can I get the chicken? I can't eat the chicken? Okay, fuck this. Huh. Hello, buddies. Why are people inside a dojo? Wait, or is this like a restaurant type shit? Yeah, so I know like the Scott Pilgrim like characters have like a lot of like redesigns from like the movie, the anime, and the... In the game, like as you can tell, like I don't think Scott even wears this outfit, like nowhere in the movie nor in the anime. But truth be told, I think I like the anime designs better, cause um, from what I read, uh, I only read, saw like a few pages of the graphic novels. I do not like those designs, like they do not look right to me. Fuck, wait, I'm not dead yet. I get the fire shit left. Yeah, but I do not like the designs. It just looks a bit too spiky. I don't know how to I don't know how to put it, but it, it just looks spiky to me. Like they like the characters have some like weird weird edges to them, and I get that's the, that's supposed to be like the appeal and stuff, but st fuck. But it, it, I just don't really like the original art style. I like how like the an the anime makes them look. Yeah, might only do this one stage, because truth be told, I... These stages are long, to be honest. I get granted, this game probably... I don't know how many stages there are, but... Considering how, to, how we have to fight all the X's, I'm guessing only seven. And probably negative Scott. I am not saying that. I am not risking my YouTube channel. I'm saying... How it's supposed to be pronounced, so I'm saying negative Scott. What the hell? I can't even break pots? Isn't, like... Okay, never mind. I was gonna say, isn't Brian O'Malley or some or isn't Brian O'Malley like a fan of Zelda? I mean, it's literally the first thing we hear when playing, uh, when watching the movie. Oh hell no! So everybody in the fandom says, I'm not sure. Hold up. 
Everybody in the fandom says that Ramona Flowers is the best character in the entire franchise. I might need to disagree with her because Wallace is there. Wallace exists. Wallace Wells is the greatest Scott Pilgrim character of them all. And you guys, you cannot convince me. I mean, come on, they got the fucking brother from Home Alone to play Wallace. That's epic. Because, I mean, come on. It's Wallace the gay roommate. He just has the best jokes and the best performance and the best character in the entire franchise, from the movie to the anime. One interesting thing about this game is like how it was like delisted from like the Xbox 360, like Source and PS3, I think. I think it was on PS3. I know for a fact it was on Xbox. Yeah. I have no idea why. I, I know it was supposed to be like for to coexist with the movie back in like 2010. But like that's weird that they got rid of they got rid of the um they got rid of this game after like the movie uh, after the movie. But then again, the movie did flop, so I'm guessing like um and this was owned by Universal. Oh n fuck, I'm dead. I'm dead. Yep, I'm gone. And this was owned by Universal. So I'm guessing Universal thought like this whole franchise was just not worth worth investing or some shit like that. Yeah, but back to Universal, like the movie flopping. It costs us so much. It costs us an um the reason why it took so long to have an animated series based on this franchise is because back, I, th I think back when the movie was first released, back in Adult, Adult Swim was trying to make a animated series, like a cartoon, like a western cartoon type shit. And it featured a character named Lisa, who we never see ever. She's only, I think she's only in the graphic novels. I don't think she, she never appeared in the movie and she didn't appear in the anime. Um, yeah, but apparently since the movie, the, the movie bombed so hard, they like canceled that shit. Which sucks, but at the same time, it's kind of like, mm, uh, uh, the anime looks better than the like cartoon made by Adult Swim. Okay, midair. Oh look, come on. Oh cool, finally, I needed that. Okay, okay, I've been g giving this game praises, and I've given this game like more complaints. But I genuinely, this is a, a thing in games that I do not like. I don't like unlocking moves. Like Banjo Kazooie, like why do you have to unlock the moves? Why can't I just have like all? Why can't I have them all in the at the beginning from the get go? Like I know it's probably like level design. If you had those moves in the early stages, it's gonna it could like break the game and shit. It's gonna be busted. I know, but still like come on. I want all the moves from the beginning. Like Mario 64, that game I had all the moves at the beginning. Like, this shit is so helpful, now I can just jump on them. I should really start playing more 2D sites for only beat em up to get good at this. Like, I played River City Ransom, the NES game, I played River City Ransom Girls, and I played Ninja Turtles. Yeah, most of them are actually coming out. I played, um, uh, what's another one? Uh, Broad Brothers. Most of the Rushing Beat games. I mean, I guess if you play Rushing Beat, I guess you played all of them. I played Peacekeeper, Peacekeepers. What's another one? I played more fighting games than I have, um... Uh... Beat em ups. I played, uh... Streets of Rage, cause on, it's on Sega Genesis. Like the online shit. Oh, fuck me. Fuck. Or maybe, or maybe I need to play Wallace, cause like I said, he's the, he's the greatest character. So maybe, so who knows, maybe he might have a better... Maybe he might be the best broken character. I know that, um... Fuck. I know that Knives and Wallace were DLC characters, and they stopped doing it and shit because of the delisting of this game. But did they ever reveal if there were gonna be more characters or some shit like that? Marie, does Julie ever appear in this in this game? Does um, what is it? What's the name? Does Stacy appear? I think Stacy does appear. I, I don't remember, but he. I think I saw. I think she appears in the Matthew Patel stage. Oh what? Oh hello. What the hell is this shit? Does this ever appear in the comics? I don't remember this from the movie. Okay. Oh hello. No, get away from me, boy. You're on fire. Why? Why do you? I, 
you're on fire, my G. Why are no? Get away! Get away! Get away! Yeah, they're one-hit ca characters. I can't get rid of this heart anymore. I I give up. One eternity later. Is it over? Like this? Is, how long has, have I been playing this stage? Okay, it looks like we're here. Oh wait, we're not. What? Do these stages get longer and longer? God, wait. Maybe this is like the final like thing, cause like um, I think the uh, maximum. I think after Todd, the maximum of the stage transitions, whatever the fuck they're called, is three. Because Todd's the Lucas is in Matthew Patel's at like two, I think, if I remember correctly. But Todd also had three, and you had like to fight Envy, Envy Adams. Okay, I don't know what this blinky th thing does, but it makes me faster, which is good. It makes me stronger, holy shit, okay. Oh no, dude, there's red! They're red! No! Okay, never mind. Those are, those are just one-time things, I guess. God damn it. Okay. Okay, I'm on the streak. What? Wait. Okay. So how does the how does that activate? Oh. Okay. So this is the final boss. Okay. The star. What? Oh. This. These sections. Okay. I like the little like um code thing we got got you guys. That's going on over here. It's like referencing Pac-Man. Okay, I don't know what the what these things have other than coins. Oh right, 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 right. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. These um, these yellow ones, they they have some shit. Okay, let's go. They have the coins, right? I need I need that just to um heal. Oh, and I, ha I have unlimited of that thing. Cool. Just get as many coins as I can. Ramona's backyard. What the fuck? Why the fuck does she have bamboos? Roxanne Richie. Oh, okay. I didn't have time to. No! 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 Fuck! No! My the log. What am I? What am I doing? I she's hitting me and I'm not hitting her. Okay. Fuck you! No! 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 Shit! 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 No! 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 Impossible! No! 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 Why is there a kitty cat? Hello, kitty cat. I wish I can make you my profile picture, but I can't. Man, if I played this game back way back when, I definitely would have made that count on my profile picture. Before making my YouTube channel. Fuck, no shit! By the way, when, did, when was this game re-released? Like, after the delisting. Okay, she's almost down, she's almost down. No! No, 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 come on, come on, come on, she's almost down, come on, come on. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Also, I have no idea what the flying pigs were all about. This is her second phase. So now they're having second phases. Oh shit, oh no, 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 no. Get over here. Come on. There we go. Oh my god. Goodbye, friend. Bunnies! Okay. Octopus. Whatever that is. Oh my god. That was painful. Okay, let me see that title screen. There, that end. Yeah. Let's go. Why is Ramona in panties? Is 
Was there is there is there a reason for that other than like eye candy? But anyways, that's it for today, guys. All right. This is the Nerdly signing off. Hit that subscribe button. See you later on the streets. Peace.